Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ghost Gaming with me, Christopher. We're back with Settlement Survival and Ghostville, where we are going for a thousand citizens. And would you know what we have? We have a grand total of, right now, 1,026. I uh, got some immigrants to get into my city. And that is basically how we got there, because I didn't want to wait for all of those 205 and 168 kids to grow up. So there you go. We've made it. And uh, you might wonder then, why are we here? Well, we're gonna be working a bit on making the place look nice before we end everything. So with that in mind, there are a few things that I want to do. Number one, it's obviously all the beautification stuff. I've done, for example, these three homes here. We need to do the rest of them. That's one thing. We need to do what I, whatever it is that I wanted to do over here. I think I vaguely know what to do. And it uh, makes me happy to see that I did, in fact, fix this. Didn't actually do those little bits of road there. Uh, actually, yeah, you know, these three houses here are actually not upgraded. And there we go. That's the thing that I wanted to get to. Yes, I sent out some caravans. And I think I have uh, one more, which has a bit more way to go. And we actually did get a level up for Lorenzo. So we're up to level four. What did that unlock? A bank. Deposit the money in the bank with interest. That's kind of cool. Um, all right. Lovely. And also hardwood furniture. Now that is that is not uninteresting. Let me tell you what. That is probably no. Okay. Who, who builds that then? Wait. Who, who builds the hardwood furniture? Yeah, luxury furniture. Uh, luxury furniture. Oh, it's just with the hardwood. Oh, all right, all right, I see, I see. So hardwood and uh, leatherwood. I mean, planks is not our problem, so I don't know how much that helps me, but whatever, eh? Uh, also, in this episode, we are finishing up with the Great Palace. Now, I am done with the planks. The bricks are not going to be a problem. I have the bricks. It's the cut stone. I am lacking about 8,000 of the damn things. Uh, this little guy here, the masonry workshop, fully upgraded, fully working, is producing 156 a year. Ah, uh, that's not good. <laughs> also, by the way, I should probably just do this immediately. Ooh, I don't have... Hey, who's making lanterns? Why are you not producing more lanterns? Uh, where's the where's the lantern shop? Uh, more people work here. Come on, M more work. We are lacking a little bit in here. We have the sand. We have everything. Just keep working, damn it. Uh, have more people working here too. Just m more stuff. <laughs> we, we need all of the things. Uh, you also need that, that, that. There we go. More people working. Lovely. Uh, you know what? You can also have more people. Apparently not those, though. Uh, you are still working on that. Yes. Good, good, good. Here we go. I have... I have... Actually, not that many. Never mind. I did not have that many. That's fine. Uh, so that that's gonna... Ooh, that is actually gonna be... Slight issue, actually. Why do I have... Our lanterns... You... No, that does just a one-time cost. Have I traded? Did I trade lanterns? Not entirely sure why I'm lacking lanterns. But anyway, uh, we are also going to do uh, the, little, um, the little fences around all of the uh, fields and orchards here. So that, that looks good. If I can do some beautification stuff over here, I will. I did leave a bit of space in between here. That's somewhere we can do something with that. I'll try and do something with the Great Palace here, if I can. Not entirely sure. But, 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 but. Uh, yes, these are going to start working harder, so to speak. I need to build more of it. Uh, so, uh, da -da -da -da. resources, take points, all of that. Good, good, good. We need to do... Can I do... We're going to have to do a senior quarry first. We're just going to do it. Yeah, I have left space here. That's good. Okay, we're going to have to do a little bit of terraform. So it was basically like that, I think. So there we go. 
back to the da, 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 senior quarry. Lovely. Road comes into here. We're gonna need more masonry workshops. Uh, so that's that or I think. Yep, masonry workshop right there. You can be at the side here. That is fine. Hopefully I have all this stuff. Uh, yes, we should be absolutely in no problems here whatsoever. You are lacking leather, I know. Are we again? Oh, we have so much leather. Oh, wow. All right. We have produced leather. We have produced leather. And also, why do you not have friends with you? Bloody hell. Um, we are lacking the steel tools for the final upgrade. So it's actually against salt that we're lacking. Holy crap. Well, that's good, because I have salt works uh, that are apparently not uh, actually working as hard as they could be. It is you, it is you, and you. Yep, yeah, can just have more salt. That's absolutely no problem. There we go. So you're actually lacking salt, and we have 10,000 letters. Yeah, I think that my... Uh, I think all of this is going well now. Are you actually maxed out? Yes, you are maxed out. So how are you doing, Mr. Buttershop? You need more people working as well. We can have stuff for you. We can actually have an oven too. Have been producing some of those. How many do I have? I don't know. But now you can start working quite well, right? Because you should now start to make so much milk. But I think that's sadly, again, I think a lot of people are just drinking the milk. And as far as I know, there's no way to, like, stop them from doing that. Because I need, uh, I need bloody uh, stuff. For, I need stuff for stuff. What is it that you're lacking? Yeah, you're lacking roast turkey. And the roast turkey doesn't get made unless we have butter. Also, you need to work faster. Get you stuff. We are lacking that still, but that's fine. But yeah, yes, we. Where is all the milk going? Bloody hell, can I. Oh, stop looking at you. Uh, in drinks, I think. What is it? No, it actually is counting as food. Yes, that's true. So, milk. Yeah, the consumption is 2,700. It's not this guy that's doing that. You're not using all of that, but uh, alright, fine, whatever. Yeah, it would be nice if you could sort of uh, ignore or tell people, do not drink milk. Would that be a thing that you can do? Not entirely sure, because as you can see, we are very much using the milk, and we're not using it where we should be, which is the butter shop. But basically, I have um, three hardwood pastures here. All of which are now producing quite handsome amounts of milk. Lovely, lovely. All right then, so uh, we are going to get on uh, producing more cut stone, if I can. We're not going to be building a whole lot. Ooh, who is it that's... Latrine. We don't have anyone working in the latrine. Good job. You can do that. Now, all right. Then. So, 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 so. Let's uh, get on to uh, beautification stuff. Uh, this is going to be, I think, the first video in this series. And bloody hell, something happened. Uh, leather shoes for uh, a thousand coins. You know what? That's fine. I have 112,000 of the bastards. So, indeed. Um, this is going to be the first uh, episode in this video. And the only episode, I suppose, that is going to have cuts. Because I will be cutting stuff in this episode. By the way, I just noticed something. How are you doing? You're doing fine. That's absolutely great. So, we're going to start with this. I want to make this look good. I probably... I'll see if I can do something else besides the um, planters. But we'll see exactly what I have uh, as options. So, let's start with this one. And uh, let's see how it looks when I'm done. And there we have it. So, winter is over. I wanted to wait until land was green, so to speak. So there we go. That looks rather nice, I do believe. So I tried to vary myself a little bit. Some people got some mushrooms. Some smaller planter. I did use the large ones uh, sometimes. I just realized that I actually angled those incorrectly. Never mind, Abe. That's fine. And, ooh, here we go go. All right, then, you know what? I'm going to introduce more books. There we go. 300 books for me. Lovely, lovely. Uh, also planted some trees. Did a bit of uh, a varied var variant over here. Uh, did some red trees along the uh, 
uh, graveyards here. Might do the same over here. Wouldn't you know? Ooh, there are some geese here just chilling out. Uh, all right, then. I have also uh, turned this back on so that we know vaguely where we are. I think that the, my workers are still, or the builders are still moving cut stone. I had a fair few of them. That's true. We're still lacking like two thirds of it, but uh, you know, we're getting there. Uh, this place has been built up. Have I gotten? Yes, I have the lantern. Now I kind of want to upgrade this immediately. Uh, I did notice some thing, which is that the deep core, which is the final level, actually uses iron tools to get the stone, which is unlike the regular quarries where we don't need specific tools. Now granted that it produces three uh, stone, this produces six, so we're now going to be able to get a lot more stone from here, that's good. Also uh, re realized, also meant that I uh, increased my third smithy here, made it a little bit better, so it produces more iron tools, because we are going to start needing those. Uh, we can apparently not do... What is it that I'm... Um... wait... Ah, this is not an advanced mini. There we go. Ah, right. So you can actually have the kill. That is the difference there. Right, right, right. That's fine. Ooh, bit of a save. Yes, but uh, indeed, we have our production set up here. We are not producing more stone. I might want to do more of these. Because I'm thinking that... These are going to produce more stone that I need here. So you know what? We're going to do that immediately. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Or Mason Workshop. Just uh, let's do just do three more of those. Because I think, uh, yeah, I have the people for it. So that's absolutely fine. Um, and yes, indeed, I might want to upgrade this to a deep core fairly soon. But for now, I think that that is fine. So while that is working, we're going to put our attention to our fields. I've done uh, an example here. Where, sadly, I realized that these only come in uh, two by ones, which uh, didn't work for the uh, long uh, path here. But I did put a small little T version here, which I think works okay. So, uh, next step is going to be that. We're going to go over to making all of those. That is going to be lovely. And uh, while we are at it over here, I'll see what I'll do about these. Maybe I'll add some regular trees, so to speak. There are some trees. Trees just do pop up here and there. That is true. But we probably want something else here. So we'll, we'll have a bit of a look at that. And there we have it. So all of the fields now have their fences and also the little scarecrows. Now the scarecrows I forgot were very, very expensive. So I have to actually send out the caravans again. But so I have now a little bit more money to deal with that. So there we go. Those are the fields. Very, very lovely. Oh, and there's, there's another save. Absolutely. Go on, do that, yes. I am, by the way, still annoyed at the whole milk situation, because no matter how much milk I make, they are still using it to drink it. I need the butter shop to be doing the milking. Thank you very much. Now, it might be that uh, if you have buildings that... I, I don't think that they run out of milk, so it might be that if I build more butter shops, I can have more butter. You know what, that is a thing. Uh, would that be in secondary? Primary? Butter shop. What if I make like, oh I don't know, two more of those. I have the people for it, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, did put this on hold for Oh, bloody hell, we have a tree again. Uh, you know what? On this occasion, cut it down. We don't need any more trees in this bloody place. I have so much trees. 16,000 of the bastards. Um, this is actually filling up. Uh, that's less good, I suppose. Anyway, uh, let's get on to some more uh, beautification of this. This, this, this. Um, I was thinking that you can have the hedgerows. Now, how are they? Are they two? Yeah, they are two by twos. Is that gonna... Is that gonna fly? Because I think it might. So far, so good. What... Are you gonna... I think you are. <gasps> you are. I am happy. So that is how I want that to be. So hedgerows all around this place. I don't think that they actually connect to each other, so to speak. So it's gonna be a bit of a uh, cut between them. But that's... Uh, I mean... 
it is what it is. I built that wrong. Uh, it is what it is. In the end, how much do these cost, by the way? 50. We should be absolutely fine for money. Now, I'm not 100% sure exactly how much more we are going to do here. But, of course, we're going to do this at the very least. So, all of these people are going to have lovely hedgerows around their homes. And, indeed, I don't exactly know how much more I want to do. I kind of want to do something with the Great Palace once that gets built. Just uh, not 100% sure exactly what it is that I want there. Uh, I haven't been using, by the way, the um, sort of stone floor functionality on any building. And that is a place where I might want it. Because I don't think I necessarily want that to be grass on the ground. I might want to have, like, stone... Preferably cut stone, but uh, currently we're using the cut stone for something else, aren't we? So we're not really going to be able to do that right now. So those are some lovely hedges. We're going to go over here, do the same thing here. I can hear the builders are working their butts off, which is great. Uh, there we go. And of course we could have built a little the boxwood if uh, if it would have been uh, a situation where we needed to fill a small space, I suppose. But we don't need to because I am a genius at this game. So I have built exactly how I am or how I was supposed to build. So that's very, very lovely. Uh, final bit here, people who have hedge rows. Now, I did just see something. I saw a spot for a structure that I did want, but it's, it's very, very big. But I realize now that I have a perfect spot for it. So that is good. Yeah, over here, we have a spot here. And there is something very fun in... Probably here, right? Is that in... Yeah, here we go. The treehouse. Oh, it actually... It just fits in here. Beautiful. I don't have enough coins. That got 60,000 for a bloody tree house. Oh, bloody hell. All right. What can I sell? Uh, how many jewelers have you made? 202. The cutlery. Cool. Uh, don't sell that. Why am I using land? I've been trying to figure out if I'm using lanterns for anything, but I don't think I am. So I don't exactly know about that. Uh, bedding sets, all 500. Sure thing. Not the building kits. Thank you. Uh, sell all of that. Don't, don't I have some other stuff that I can sell? That is worth a bit. Uh, you yeah, the lux luxury furniture, of course. 100, 200. Drop that down. Lovely. Uh, we can send. Yeah, we have a lot of people now, so that's good. The insurance. We can make another one, and they will sell only luxury furniture. So that is five. We said I think three sixty. Yeah, there we go. That is seven thousand. Is it's not nothing. So we'll just send that out. I can hear all the hedges being built. Lovely. I want that damn tree house. All right. Now I realize what I could have done here. I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm apparently not a genius at this game. Actually, what I probably should have done was have the box uh, wood at the corner here. Because now that looks a little bit silly. But that's fine. Uh, so there we go. You guys get uh, hedges. Lovely. Now one more thing that we are going to do. And I'm a little bit unsure how I want to do this. Because I want obviously better rows. We have immigrants again. Uh, where are you? No, oh, wait. I do want to do the cut stone roads because they obviously look a lot better. But again, we are using cut stone for other stuff now. Um, did the butter shops get built? No. What are you complaining about? Probably lack of milk, but that is uh, that is the plan here to see exactly how this will work. I have the upgrades for you, I think. Yeah. yeah. No, I actually don't. Oh, I'm lacking an oven. Uh, we do want an oven. So you, please make one singular oven, if you wouldn't mind. Well, actually, we can make up to ten. We might have other buildings that want that, too. There goes the caravans. Lovely, lovely. 
Sally, it is winter, so it's not looking too great here now. How are we looking on people, by the way? 1070, that's a-okay. Uh, that is a-okay. What are we storing here, by the way? So much iron and silver. Cool, cool, cool. Can we see the difference on those, by the way? I shouldn't say so, no. That is basically looking exactly the same. Alright then, we can turn this bad boy on again. Because we are pre presumably produced a bit more cut stone. A thousand of them. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, but yes, I kind of want the cut stone floor for this entire building. If I wait until they have put all the cut stone into the building, what would happen if I use this? It does say that it is a construction material, but I think that if you just mark a specific building, it would just automatically build on it, if I remember correctly. So I'll give that a bit of a look when they have indeed moved all the stone. Uh, Jade is obviously also one thing that is not going super fast. So we we'll see exactly how long that takes. It might very well be, yes. Uh, gold miner, you agree. Where did I put? I put you in a bit, bit of a weird place, which is down here. You were not... You were complaining about stone. Uh, my, I might be overdoing it a little bit. What are you... Oh, you have no stamina. Go sleep, damn it. I might be overdoing it a little bit here. But I kind of want, if, I mean, as soon as I get the cut stone done for this building, I mean, obviously I can just remove basically all of these, I don't only need that guy. So th that is just for now, Jade. You're going to get back, but we might want to do, or I might still want to do, bloody hell. So slow. Uh, no, that isn't treasure, never mind. The Jade House. Uh, why don't we do two of you over here? So there we go. Do I have the stuff that we need? We cut stone, obviously, but that's fine. We have all the other stuff. We have a fair amount of toolkits right now. Let's go back to building kits. Because we do need that as well. Uh, yeah, you're complaining about the cut stone. That's fine. Get there in the end. I think I might have overdone it a little bit, yes. But uh, as I said, I want this to be... There we go. Okay, so if I do this... I don't... No, I don't think it actually will let me. So, fair enough, I suppose. And I'm not going to be able to do stone ground, stone floor either, because I don't have stone either. So, lovely. Um, we are not going to bother with those right now. The Jade uh, house down there, they can deal with that for now. So yeah, every, every single bit of stone gets shunted into these, and you're actually not, not now not producing enough. I have people, as I want this to be done quite fast indeed, yes. Uh, resources, stone, yes indeed, a senior quarry, <laughs> we're gonna do one more. Now it would be nice if it was here. I'm gonna. S I don't really want to build it here. I don't want to screw my bloody city over. You know what? Fine. I'll build it down here. Uh, you get built here. Let's prioritize that one, please, because we should have all the things we need for that one. Yes, indeed. And as I have the people, indeed, I can absolutely do uh, that very easily. Yes. Uh, do I want to beautificate something else? I mean, I did uh, prepare these buildings a bit, didn't I? Uh, where is the... Where do you get into this? You get in here. So ideally we want... Ah, I built that right on the road. Okay, so there's actually no space there. But that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Did I have... I did have a space in there, I think. So let's just do... Tiniest bit of road here. And here. And... Also, uh, how do I want that? You know what, I'll leave it like that. And we can have something else. Well, actually, I'm waiting for the money for the treehouse. The lovely, lovely treehouse. By the way, I also did uh, a few of these sitting places here for these lovely guys, together with a uh, stone, stone hedge or fence or what do you call these? 
Stone fence. Yes, there we go. Oh, look at that. That is uh, that is lovely. That is very lovely. Now in the future, when I do my new city, which I obviously will do, uh, not as a series, but uh, for myself. Oh, hello. I do not have whiskey. Sorry. None of the wine either. I guess an anisette, so that's lovely. Uh, you haven't been doing the luxury or the fancy drinks, by the way. I need grapes for that. Or, uh, it's not just that I need the grapes, I need the space for it as well. Because all of the stuff that we are producing, we are producing quite a lot of. I was also thinking about another water mill, because we have a lot of wheat and stuff, but we are not producing enough flour, I don't think. But it is actually the butter that's the big thing. You are, you're saying that you're maxing out on butter. Oh, I don't think you are. You're gonna keep on producing butter, my dear friends. Uh, you can have another person. You can have another person. Uh, we have also, presumably, the oven. How many do we have? Seven. I'm gonna say that's fine. So you go back to your old steel tools. Uh, why are you lacking someone? You shouldn't be lacking people. Neither should you. You are fine. You're fine. You can be how you are. That's good. Uh... How do we silver? We have a lot of silver ore, so you know what? Yeah, another pottery workshop doing silver cutlery would not be a bad thing. Or simply turn this bloody bastard on. There we go. That's a thing that can do. Uh, you can have more people working there too. Very good. We can now make money. Make our own cash. That's literally how you do it in uh, certain parts of the world. Yes, make your own cash. Lovely. Uh, have you been... No, you don't care about that. That's good. You are being built, almost done, 56,000 just came into my account, lovely. Uh, get all the people in here, now, yeah, the lanterns, I do not understand, we're actually not producing any because you don't have the lamp oil, because this guy, these guys are not working fast enough. What are we using lamp oil on anyway, and where can I... Raw materials, I suppose. It's always a bit tricky to find where things go. Actually, it goes in here. Yeah, we are consuming quite a lot of that. So, lighting factory, we might need to think a bit more about having more of those. You know what? Yeah, we can do that. I mean, I, I am basically done with the series, but it's still, uh, it's still fun to just do some stuff here. So, lighting factory, uh, you know what? As we're using fat, Fat comes from this place. So let's just do two lighting factories over there. What do you need? You need... No, just regular stone and sand. We're using a lot of sand as well. What are we using a lot of sand on? How... How are we not keeping up on glass? Do I really need to do... Okay, I mean, you are maxing out like always, so... Because we're not doing a lot of bricks. Bricks are basically capped out almost. But yeah, we're apparently a little bit short on the old sand, which is, again, remarkable, because I have have, have had two of them uh, working for, for a long time, you know. Uh, but alright, alright. Uh, I got the money for the cool thing, which is the treehouse. So we're going to build a treehouse, because isn't that good for the kids? So which angle do I want that? I think, yeah, I think I want it that way. There we go. Cool looking treehouse. Uh, hopefully someone is going to get on that, even though this is also active. 128, you see? Interesting. Not only does it cost a lot, it also apparently takes a long time to build. Okay, I can get behind the building time, that's fine, but the cost? 60,000 for a bloody treehouse, Jesus Christ. Um, right, so you are actually lacking in milk right now, but I really hope that you are being given the milk you need, and that people aren't actually drinking the milk. I mean, it does look like we should be producing enough, at least. And we are... Okay, so what I did have done about clothing, which is such a weird thing, isn't it? So I've been going over to gowns for everyone. We have gowns. 
We have gowns, so why are you complaining about clothing? I, I, the idea here is that I, I now have enough stuff. I have silk, 500. Actually, not that much of that one. Okay, never mind then. Go back to down jacket over here. Okay, so apparently, what are we... What are we saying here? You are... You are lacking... Yeah, you are lacking salt again. Alright, well, back to production stuff. Um, no, resources, water... No, mine... River, river, river. Uh, salt works! We need more of those, apparently. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we don't have a lot of clothes by... I mean, I could just do some... I suppose I could do some terraforming, but I don't necessarily... Bloody hell, it's such an awkward place. Uh, we can absolutely have stuff over here, though. We can actually have one there. I don't know exactly know how they're going to get into that building, but uh, we'll have to make do, I suppose. You can connect to that road a little bit awkwardly, but that is going to be a little bit more salt produced. And that is, you know, it's not a bad idea. Let's uh, drag this road out here and around. There we go. There we go. So, at this point, I mean, could do stuff over here, I suppose. Could just do regular trees along this, possibly. Do I? I don't know if I care enough. I kind of just want to have this thing done and say that, you know what? That's it. Um, I think that this looks good. I think that this looks cute. I like the fen or the, the hedges, even though, yeah, I probably should have done the corners and those little round ones. But yeah, this is, you know, something you can do. I suppose. So what we're gonna do is that I'm basically just gonna jump cut until this thing is produced and probably I do want to have enough cut stone to also do the ground because I mean while it doesn't look bad that you have grass here I think it might look a little bit cooler with oh why are you walking through there um I think it might look a little bit cooler actually if uh, this is all cut stone ground instead. I think it sort of makes it look a little bit more like a um, like a square, if you know what I mean, instead of just grass. Because obviously you get up to this place over here, that's true, but you can still hang out here, which is kind of what I think that people would want to do. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, have these guys work on the stone, which of, of which we have very little. Uh, you have done over here, you're done over here, that's good. Lamp oil for you. Bash, bash, bash. Good. Uh, so yeah, let me just uh, work on this. Make sure that we uh, get this thing built. We are slowly getting there, which is lovely. Do we, you, I was about to say, you you do have a home. It's, uh, there's a home. All right, you actually probably graduated. Yeah, okay, you graduated. That's fine then. All right then, let's uh, jump cut to where this big old thing is done. All right, well, it's not done, but we have reached a milestone, which is all the bloody building materials are in place. Now, that's 8,001 building, I, I don't know, units. Holy crap. Well, okay, fair enough. It's an impressive building, I suppose. We are in the middle of winter. Can we get this done uh, before the next winter, I wonder. I guess we'll see. We don't really have a whole, whole lot else that we need to build, so let's just have a bit of a look at some stuff that I've been doing while waiting. So first of all, uh, I have been uh, improving this area over here. I have built uh, two wineries that can produce more beer. I have a whole lot of wheat production over here as well as a well. Well, well, well. Uh, so uh, water and uh, wheat, not a problem. And why am I doing this? Well, we need to feed the gourmet shop. Now this is uh, gonna be probably one of my biggest critiques of this game, which is that uh, there are a number of situations where you need food products to produce stuff. We've already talked about it with regards to butter. Uh, we are still uh, we're producing so much milk. I mean, if we go into food and uh, simple food here, we're producing 4,900 milk. How much of that do you think goes to the butter shops? Probably not that much, because as you can see, the uh, reserves are like slim, and I'm producing, they should be sitting at around a thousand each. But they're not, because people drink the milk. So, um, that's one problem. So then we have the problem of this guy. 
uses both beer and roast turkey. Now, roast turkey is obviously a produced item, or processed item, maybe I should say. I've changed all these four barbecue houses over here to just produce that. And I have uh, another field set up with just the turkeys. And also I tried out the coral, not good, like not at all equally efficient. We can see last year production here uh, for a 20 by 20. Okay, fair enough. For the size, I suppose it's fine. I guess you could probably fit like four of these within. Can you do that? Let's have a bit of a look. If we take the coral, which I now can see. There we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure, you can fit. Is it actually even? Uh, it's, but it is four. It's basically four and I guess five then. Uh, backpacks for me, thank you. Um, so yeah, the, basically one of these equals five of these, I suppose. But obviously if uh, you were to do that, you would have uh, ten people working the same, uh, same thing. I don't exactly know what is the best here, because uh, what I like about this, obviously, is that uh, it produces 5,000 last year, this produces 1,300. Two people working here, six people working here, multiply that by three, you get 3,900, which is not even close to this. Space efficiency, possibly that is good, maybe, not entirely sure. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I'm producing a whole lot of turkey here. I did have to build two more to make use of the pork and the beef that I'm also producing. Might actually need more because we are producing quite a lot of it. And uh, yeah, the, the problem is that uh, even though I'm producing so many turkeys, I mean, can we go into, yeah, roast turkey, I'm producing same thing like the milk, basically. Or was that the same as milk? Wait, where, where the hell did it go? <laughs> no, it, it went away. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Can, I can't search, damn it. Uh, let it, let it, there we go. Let's pause the game a little bit. Uh, see, I'm producing... That's bloody hell, where did it go now? <laughs> did it just matter? Yeah, there we go. So I'm producing 4,900 of those. Do you think uh, those 4,900 goes into the gourmet shop? No, because the people eat them, obviously. Now you're complaining about butter because we're not producing enough butter because the milk doesn't... Yeah, so basically what I would love for this game to be um, able to, you know, either make me able to do it myself or you should just do it automatically, is that if you have an item that is used in production building, it should basically always go there, or I should be able to basically just sort of I don't know, click here, say that, like a right click or something, I have no idea. Basically saying that this item cannot be consumed just by uh, the citizens. It only needs to go to the uh, production facilities because uh, there's no way for me to control a food item. Absolutely no reason, or rather no way at all. And over here, uh, by the way, let's uh, have a bit of a look. How far are you? 1,300. Bloody hell. Um, so these uh, are producing wheat. Uh, so I'm trying the plantation, doing two of them, just because why not. And also the dense farm that I got from Meow, I think, yes. Um, and as you can see, the output last year, 2,000 here. About the same, 2,000. So if we go over to my, my production, the way I've set it up, 2,000. So they are not better than what I am doing over here. This is actually as efficient as you apparently can make it, which is... And these guys don't even have the uh, the bonuses. So if I try to bonus that up, that is going to be even better. And I'm actually also, by the way, about population. <clears throat> We're struggling a little bit. We, we have quite a lot of old people at this point. Uh, oh, hello. There's a drift box. Fishing nets. I have fishing nets. Coca beans. Lovely. Can't do anything with those. Um, but yeah. So again... Oh, Aw, poor immigrants. So basically at this point, we are just waiting for this damn place to be built. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it even fancier than I th uh, thought about, because I have unlocked some stuff. Uh, I actually only have one thing left, the delivery station here. Then I have unlocked every single thing. Now, what I've unlocked is... Oh yeah, gold stuff. So I'm going to do a gold floor on this thing. Can I even do that? Wait, do I have gold? How much gold do I have even? I might actually not have any gold now that, now that I think about it, because you are... Yeah, you're lacking. Okay, never mind, we're not doing that then. Uh, well, I have the cut stone, so you know what? Ooh, we have jade as well. I am still producing jade, I just realized. Uh, that might work. 
Would you... Do you do not accept that either? Can we not do it because you're not built yet? Because that could be a thing. Because uh, isn't it just like this that, this that we're supposed Like if I go for... What would be a building that could use a jade floor? I suppose you could. Yeah, so if I just do... There, there we go. So that's how that works. If you have it, you just build it. So no, you're gonna get a gold floor. Can I... No, you can't do a gold floor because I literally didn't have it. Uh, but you can do that. Yeah, see, that, 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 that looks pretty good. So this is something that I probably should do uh, here and there. Like, for example, cut stone here for the market. That looks good. Um... And for the traders, yep, that also looks good. This is also something that I should probably have been working on. You can have that too, for example. Uh, I suppose the... Okay, you have... Do I not have... Did I actually use all the cut stone doing that? I don't think I did. Uh, no, not at all, actually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so those are some things that I could have done way early, like with stone or something. But... Um... All right then, another cut to where this bloody thing is done. Well, we are almost done. Very close now. Now before we just uh, wait for the final moments here, uh, here's the here here's the lovely treehouse. It's looking very fancy. Also built built them a bit of a luxury castle. There's not much sand here, but. Uh, I mean, it fits a little bit. Also, with the uh, training that I did uh, during this episode, I have gotten to the final uh, reputation level with Lorenzo here, which opens up the Great Castle. I mean, uh, part of me wants to build that too, but uh, first of all, it's bloody big. It would fit very nicely in here, though. Uh, but if we look at the, um, the costs... Oh, damn it. <laughs> Uh, how close are you? Not, not, not just there. Castle, there we go. So the costs are a thousand uh, building kits, not problematic. A thousand furniture, have that. Ten thousand bricks and ten thousand hardwood. Very, very easy compared to this bloody thing. Yeah, I think that I basically took the most difficult building in some ways, because as we saw in the beginning, one of the mason workshop during a year could produce like 150 of the cut stone, which of which I needed 10,000. And then Jade, um, one one of these, I've built four now here, um, produces 35. I needed a thousand. So yeah, I think I did the most difficult building in some ways. But we are very nearly done with this thing. It's gonna be lovely. I do like that they do build in sort of stages. So they're like done with this. But now it's the roofs. That's the final bit. Alright then, here we go. Big moment, big reveal. We are getting the building done. There we go. It is quite lovely indeed. Now, as for the floor... I can't do gold stuff, because I literally do not have the gold, but I think I can do jade. I don't have enough for that either. Damn it! 1080! Holy crap, how, where am I? I am on... I actually cap on 500, so... Alright then, fine. Will, will she just do... Oh, can I even do this? Yeah, I can do that one. Okay, so, I mean, that's fine too, I suppose. And as a final bit, what I really should do, I guess, it would be the marble one, right? Uh, yeah, because that is a biggie. We can't actually fit it here, which is a bit sad, so we would have to go sort of uh, on the outside. We couldn't. This is a weird one. Why is it? Why is it like this? It, it literally covers one slot or one space. Well, I mean, just barely. But yeah, that is okay. Can't actually fit it in here with the, how I set the roads up. Oh well, that's fine. So we've done that. That means that uh, well, I've started setting some buildings up like you. Uh, we can also now remove this one completely because I think that this one should do. Yes, indeed, it does the same thing. So we can remove that one. Uh, this will be our main building. Where do people actually sort of enter? I think they do enter in the front, possibly. I mean, it's a building that where people generally don't go to, if you know what I mean. And I've decided to, you know, this is it. 
th 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 there was the part about the roads. I, I just don't care anymore. Uh, so we're gonna leave it be. I built the, the damn great palace. It's very lovely. It's very cool. Uh, but that's about it. And it actually does fit in with the fact that I did the C1 over here as well. So, you know, they're fairly related. Though you are actually not working right now. So there we go. That is the end of this series. I've had a great time with this. There are a couple of things that I've learned for sure. And uh, I'm probably going to start a new city, like, almost immediately <laughs> after this. Because it is a fun game, and I kind of want to be a little bit more efficient. I want to think even more about um, stuff like this, uh, decorations and things. Because uh, there are a whole bunch of, you know, these things. I mean, you can leave a bit of space for this, uh, where you build your houses. I didn't really. I did build it very, very tightly still. So there are absolutely a couple of things that I have learned during this playthrough that I will uh, make use of in the future. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. And uh, on Friday we are gonna we're gonna change direction completely because we are gonna be uh, doing a bit of a war game. Lovely. Won't reveal exactly which game, but you will see very very soon. So I hope you enjoy this as much as I did, and I hope that you like this game because it is a good one even though it has a few downsides something took a bait apparently i got some tears lovely lovely tears um yeah as i've been mentioning in this episode and possibly previously there are a couple of things that i maybe don't agree with completely hopefully maybe someday some of that will get fixed who knows eh but for now I do enjoy what I have built here. For now, though, this has been Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.